Hi there, quite often when you're editing, you're gonna have some people talking or a voiceover audio track and underneath that, some music playing. When the people start talking, you want that background music to get a bit quieter. When the people stop talking, you want that background music to get a bit louder. Now you can do this manually by adding keyframes for the volume levels in the music track. That's really tedious, it's gonna take a long time. And if you end up changing the edit points or moving the voiceover information around, you're gonna have to redo all of those keyframes. In this video, I'm gonna show you a much better way of setting this up automatically so you don't have to to add even a single keyframe. I've got this timeline in Resolve, and if I just play a bit of this back, this is from a tutorial I did on multicam editing. Three different camera angles. This one is from an A7S III. This one is... So we've got some gaps in the talking here and here. Let's go and add some music. I've got this track here. I'm just gonna drag that down onto audio two, close the media pool. And if I just play this back... Three different camera angles. This one is from... So you can see at the minute that music's just playing at the constant volume and we can't really hear the talking very well. If you're wondering where I get all my music from, by the way, I get it from Epidemic Sound. There's a link in the description for a 30 day free trial that you can cancel at any time. So feel free to check that out. So we don't want to go and have to manually add keyframes to the volume here in this music track. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the Fairlight page. If you haven't really used the Fairlight page, it can be a bit overwhelming, but don't worry, I'm gonna make this straightforward. The first thing you're going to want to do is mute the vocal track. Play back just the music and set the volume of the music track to be the loudest you want it to be. Let's say somewhere about there. The next thing you're going to want to do on the music track, which is this track here, you're going to want to double click on this square, which lets us alter the dynamics. There's a few different things you can do here. We're going to turn on this compressor by toggling this switch here, and a compressor will reduce the volume whenever the audio gets over a certain level. So we're gonna reduce this threshold down to here, and if we just play back the music, you can see this bar here is telling us how much the volume is being automatically reduced. So normally a compressor works on the same audio as it's affecting. At the minute, it's looking at what the volume of the music track is and then making it quieter, depending on how loud the music is. What we actually want to do is change this so the compressor is looking at what the volume of the talking is and whenever there's talking, make the music quieter. Let me show you how to do that. The key to this is to come down here underneath this side chain section and click this listen button. When I click to this button, if I just expand the mixer along, notice now we've got this sidechain track. A sidechain is like another circuit for audio information that doesn't necessarily get output to the final audio, but we can use it as an input to this compressor. I'll go and play this back and I'll just unmute the talking. This one is from an A7S3. Notice we didn't get any gain reduction there. That's because we're listening for audio information on this sidechain channel, but we're not sending any audio to the sidechain channel. Just close this for a moment. What we need to do is send the audio from the vocal track, this track here, into the side chain, and then the side chain will send it to the music compressor. This is really easy to do. All you need to do is make sure you're on the talking track, click this little plus next to bus sends, and then choose side chain. You can see now side chain is added here. Let me once again open up the compressor on the music track. And now watch what happens if I play this back. This one is from an A7S3. This one. Is Notice we're getting gain reduction now, but it only kicks in when there's talking. Let me just move this up here and watch what happens in these gaps here. The music volume will get louder. Three different camera angles. This one is from an A7S III. This one is from a phone. And this one is from an A7R. Now, anytime we have talking, the background music is going to automatically get quieter. You can adjust the attack, the hold, and the release here to get things sounding more natural three different camera angles. This one is from an A7S III. This one is from a phone. And this one is from an A7R. Once you're happy with it, you can close this and then come down here and make some tweaks to the overall volume level of the music track. There's so much you can do with DaVinci Resolve. Make sure you check out this playlist next and I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing as well. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.